guys, welcome back. This is uh, VR Revision. My life is a party, my home is the club. I party like a rock star, dance until I drop my life. This is our design technology revision video. I'm going to be talking, we are going to be talking about topic three. Alright, let's get straight to the point. I'm going to be talking about conceptual modeling. There are three main types of concept. Concept models, there's graphical models, which are then diagrams and sketches, there's physical models, which are prototypes and 3D prints, and finally there are virtual models, which are computer designed and generic view. Moving on to design thinking, which is a creative thinking process designers go through. Here's a model of design thinking. <laughs> we start off with inquiring and analyzing, then moving on to developing ideas, then creating a solution, and then Finally, 3.2 Graphic Model Scaling up and down. When scaling up, you're creating a larger version of the design. When scaling down, create smaller versions of the design. As you may have guessed. The audience for this is the consumers and the investors. This will let them get a visual representation of what you are trying to sell to them. 1, 2, and 3 point perspectives. These perspectives are the amount of vanishing points used in a drawing. This allows the design to get a more detailed view of the design in different manners. Isometric drawings, orthographic drawings, and sketches. An isometric drawing, as seen here, is a three-dimensional drawing, where there it is a simple paper to help with the drawing. An orthographic drawing is a two-dimensional drawing of a 3D object. Sketches, as seen here, are a quick drawing of what you wish for the design. In the sketch, you can build a proper drawing with the orthographic or isometric kind. Alright, 3.3 covers physical modeling. Physical modeling helps a designer visualize the product. It also helps the designer find flaws in which the later can be adjusted. Differences between a mock-up and a prototype. A mock-up is used for showing and testing. The mock-up it has all the details required to sell it to sell it like this one. However, as you can see this is still not finished, so it's still in the mocking phase. Whereas a prototype it covers the functionality but not the aesthetics. Scales, aesthetics, instrumental physical models, plus fidelity range. Scale models are usually smaller than the original plan, however, they allow for a good feel of the project. Aesthetic models show how it would look rather than how it would work. And instrumental physical models allow for a full product test which help finalize the final product. Fidelity range measures how reliable the model is. Alright, I'm going to be talking about 3.4 Computer Aided Design, also known as CAD, CAD. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the differences between wireframe, surface, and solid modeling. Wireframe modeling creates a skeletal view of the product, as you can see here. Uh, surface modeling creates the outer shell of the product, so it's more filled, uh, with no details. It is a photorealistic uh, model. Solid modeling is a full detailed design of the object, including the geometric mass, which is basically when it's completed. Uh, bottom up and top down modeling. Bottom up model is each component of the design separated before putting them all together. The top model starts off as a concept sketch and, and evolves gradually into a complete product. Uh, data modeling. This helps summarize the results and the measure measurements of the product. Finally, we have Finite Element Analysis, FEA, slash haptic technology. FEA involves the calculation and simulation of unknown factors in uh, products using CAD systems, for example, simulating stresses within a wheel of part. This helps detect areas where it might snap. Haptic technology is a technology that interfaces the user via a sense of touch. Unit 3.5 Rapid Prototype Prototyping Systems Serial Lithography A solid freeform fabrication and solid imaging is an additive manufacturing or 3D printing technology used for producing models, prototypes, patterns, and production parts. It's also shortened as SLA. Laminate Object Manufacturing LOM, takes the sliced CAD data from a 3D model and cuts out each layer from a roll of material using a laser or plotter cut. These sliced layers are glued together to form the model. Selective laser centering (SLS) is an additive manufacturing technique that uses a high-powered laser, for example, a carbon dioxide laser, to use small particles of plastic 
metal using direct metal laser sintering used to create the 3D object. Fused, fused deposition modeling, FDM, is a layer additive manufacturing process that uses pro production grade thermoplastic materials to produce both prototype and end use parts. That's all for today. Hi, thanks for watching this video from our video evaluation series. To watch other videos from this subject, click the playlist on the right. And to see the bloopers of this video, click the video to the left. Make sure to leave a comment with any topics, suggestions you may have, and subscribe to see when it comes out.